nothing in our country actually makes sense anymore. If we are going to tell ourselves the truth, reality is that what we do these days is that we just coast along and we just allow ourselves to survive. We, we have lived for so long next to what is essentially a rubbish heap that we've lost our capacity to smell. So we sit down in the midst of our mess and we eat, we drink, we party and we forget. But the thing is this, the government of Nigeria does not treat the people of Nigeria as human beings. It's not just about treating us as citizens. We are not treated as human beings. Let's imagine this. What kind of mentality, what idea governs a system or a country where the government believes that it is okay to budget 70 billion for less than 500 people and then give what is essentially nothing, crumbs to so many. So when you now talk about NMPC, NMPC who is telling us that petrol, the petroleum industry has been deregulated, is still busy being the one fixing prices. When you ask them, what constitutes this price component? <coughs> NMPC can't tell me, are you? The same NMPC that was given an institutional monopoly has today handed that monopoly to a company in which it had invested $2 billion on my behalf and on your behalf. And now that company is now going to be the operator of the monopoly that once belonged to the NMPC. And we are not meant to ask questions. We can't speak to demand how did we arrive at this price. The same NMPC that told all of us in broad daylight that it is doing direct sale and direct purchase, which, mean that it, which meant it was giving crude and it was taking product. Up till today, we don't know exactly where and how the subsidy has arisen. Who was being paid? Nobody is telling who. So the point is this. We've gotten to the point where they just say things because they say things because they know there will be no consequences. If people believe that there will be consequences for their actions, if they believe they will be held to account and they will be asked to answer questions in relation to the things that issue forth from their mouths, I am certain that you will have less of this abomination strolling around in broad daylight in our country. We were buying toxic fuel in this country, fuel that will not be sold in any country or other country in the world. We are buying it in Nigeria. Nobody ever paid for that criminality. Nobody. Till today, nobody paid. They told us they are doing direct sale, direct purchase. Up till today, nobody is asking questions. And yet, you are demanding. And don't worry, before the end of this month, or next month, they will tell us to pay some more. Is one blow after the other for the Nigerian. We've become like orphans, tossed around and beaten about by everybody in our space. The government has become the enemy of the people, and we, the people, we have to look beyond all these stupid, petty differences and begin to ask questions because these are existential issues. They are legislating us into slavery, and we are all alive and well, and we are sat here, and we are busy quibbling over nonsense ethnicity, religion, and we have been systematically enslaved. All of us. Questions that we should ask, we are not asking. Well, the one that should not concern us is what excites us.